All right, so good morning. Um, today I'm gonna be putting in a differential on the truck that I have, uh, it's a 2006 Toyota Tundra, and the differential went bad. The gears and the pinion for the differential, they were messed up. I'll show you guys what it looks like. I'll show you guys what it looks like right now. The pinion, the pinion was, as you can tell, I mean, it was not good. So I put in a new pinion, and then the gear was also not good. See, like right there and right there so that's what i replaced in the differential i have the new one in here i'm excited and crazy thing is i ordered it on summit and so this gear has 47 teeth and the new one i ha I bought has 43 i'm not sure if that's gonna make it quicker or slower or what's gonna happen i'm just hoping for the best but what i've heard is that the less teeth it has it's like the faster it goes so hopefully it does go fast and hopefully it's worth it because I already put a lot of money into rebuilding this uh, differential. So, and it was my first time rebuilding a differential. So I hope everything goes as planned, you know? Preview of the car we're working on. I mean, it's not much, but no, I'm just kidding. We're not working on this, but we might need to use this because that differential is heavy and I could not carry it all the way over there. So we're gonna need to use this. That is the truck that we're doing it on, 2006 Tundra. Um, first we have to take off the tires both sides. That's missing a lug nut, I need to fix that. So take off the tires on both sides. Once the tires are off, we're gonna have to pull out the, I think they're called the CV axles. I don't know if that's what they're called in the back, but the one that runs all the way to the differential and that's what spins the tire. So. We gotta pop it out from this side and then the other side and then disconnect the uh what is that called the drive that thing right there and then once that's disconnected we disconnect those screw out those bolts and then it should pop right out let's see if the jack oh heck yeah boy the jack's not going nowhere fam Oh crap, I gotta push that back more. Alright, that should be good. That should be good. I should be able to pick it up from there. Let's see if my, um, my experience as a mechanic are gonna work. Looks like so far, yes. Yes! All right, whatever. Plywood might sh make some noise, but that's because the truck's heavy. But that shouldn't really matter because it's plywood. It's compressed pieces of wood and it's better than dirt. So yeah, the car is going off the ground. I think I gotta go a little higher though, just cause I can. He's tiny. Tiny bad boys, you're gonna have to always use these whenever you lift the car because you don't want the car to fall on you and you don't want to die, you know? There's a, uh, oh, you can set those to the side and, and, and start uh, seeing what you're gonna have to uh, have to take out. So this one, this one, this one, that one are gonna have to come off, as well as this. I think this is a speed sensor, and then the brake line. I don't think you have to take it out because all you have to do is probably take this bracket off, and it'll stretch. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So let's get these bolts off the speed sensor and then uh, I believe this has to come off too. Um, or maybe by just taking off the bracket for it, it could also just, you know, cause you don't have to slide it all the way out. As long as you slide it enough to get it out the uh, differential, then you'll be fine. Um, 
when you took so i took these off the four once you're under the car you're gonna want to take off the bracket the bolt that holds the bracket for the uh e-brake and the one that holds for the uh brake line e-brake would be this bracket here and this bracket here also this is going to be the e-brake and then for these are off like i said take the four off the speed sensors are off and then the brake line bolts which is one here one here and one over yonder and one over there so once you take those off you should be able to slide this off with no problem and you shouldn't have to take the brake line off because again like i said you're only going to probably need to push it back a little bit so then that the differential could come out before you do anything you probably should have drained the differential now i'm, I'm thinking about that but uh yeah uh we gotta drain the differential you fill it back up and this is where you drain it so thank god i did not put this close to here then i wouldn't be able to take it off but let's drain this bad boy before we do anything else so i put under there my little trusty bucket because i can't fit the oil pan because it's not wide enough because of the jack stand and the thing being so close so hopefully it's not more than that because if it is it's gonna overfill but we're hoping for the best and it looks like i hope it's one of these sockets um because if it isn't i'm gonna have to go buy i don't want to go buy anymore oh look look at that it's actually smaller than this so maybe it 25 or 24. Oh, 24. Oh, what is this? 25. Yeah, 24. 24 is. Here we go. Yeah, that's perfect. I'm gonna go get my half inch. I'm gonna go get myself. Oh, right, right. Some had a lot spill. <laughs> but yeah, I got most of it out. So now on this side, same thing. Just, you know, take out these four bolts. Stick it over there. Take out these four bolts. Same thing, speed sensor, and then you know, like I said, these uh for the brake line and then for the e-brake, so you don't have to completely take it off. I think this you have to. You can actually just take these pins off, and it'll come right off. You don't have to actually take off the ones from the bracket, so it would only be the brake line bracket bolts that are coming off. What I was talking about. Um, Taking this off, you just have to take just have to take you just have to take this off. There you go. So keep this in a safe I put it here so I don't lose anything. So you save that and then this actually comes off. So hit it. to come out and then once it's out you just take it out and there you go just make sure to uh yeah so it's just this so make sure to not lose anything and you're good so for the e-brake that's fine and then for the brake line you just gotta take these bolts off got these off they were size 12 once you got them off pretty sure see how that's uh, coming off so you would just have to pull it and then it would be out you just have to pull it oh there you go see how it just came out yeah so this is gone these are good they're not tight nothing's tight everything's fine all right so so now that this is good and it comes out we got to take out disconnect the drive shaft make sure you mark it though i don't know why they always say that but just mark it <laughs> mark it take it out put it back how it went and then once i take oh that might be a problem uh, no we'll see hopefully it doesn't interfere with the jack take this off all four bolts and then from there take that bracket off that's holding it so we can go down and you can pull this back and then take out this. And then once this is out, pop in the new one and hopefully everything goes well.
take these four off. You're gonna wanna take these off also, and they're also 14. So we gotta take these also, also off. Once you take them off, it's gonna fall down, and now that it falls down, you can actually remove this. You pick it up and move it. Okay, you probably need to pry it, but now it can come off. These you're gonna have to save because these are very important up here too. You have to save those because you want everything to go back how you took it out. You don't want to lose anything. So yeah, once you pry it off, you know. So you want this with one foot. So and push this out. And push this out. Oh. All right, so you might want to be patient with this because you don't want to hurt nobody or nothing. So, oh, there you go. Once that is off, you want to start taking these off, and again, you want to save, you know, the, the what are these called? The uh, spacers, the washers inside, so you don't lose that. So, yeah, now let's get this bad boy off. Got all of them off, the differential. So be ready to come out and just be careful. I want to save the gasket. I don't want to, uh, cause I don't want, cause they, if I go buy it right now, they don't have it. I have to freaking order it through the dealership and I got to wait and all that. And I don't want to do that. So if you don't want to do that either, just be careful when you're taking it out. Remember that there is a gasket back here. Just try not to damage it or anything so you could reuse it. Before you pull out the differential, make sure that this is pushed back a little more than this. And I feel like you would hear it. I think that's fine. That should be fine. Um, no, that should be fine. This side is good. It's awesome. Hold back. All right, now you got to take that. Some, you got to take it out because now these aren't inside, so now you can, you know, push it out. Um, it should come out. Uh, if it doesn't come out, it's probably because they're still not all the way out. So you can push it a little more. And get it out. I feel like that should be good. Yep, that was it. So again, like I said about the gasket, you want to be careful with that gasket if you want to reuse it. I think it could be reused, I don't know, but all I know is that I'm going to reuse it. So, it's going to be heavy. It's going to be heavy. heavy. Still needs to go a little more. Alright, that's good now. Yep, there we go. There we go. Oh, it's going to be heavy. All right, so when I was saying to push those back is because you can see in here, you see this right here. Let's see, look, if I push it back in, you see it. This the other side has the same thing, would go in here. So if you don't push it back, you're not gonna, there's no way you're getting it out because that's what's holding it. Once you push it back, it comes off from here, and now you can pull it back. So now let me get this out the car and compare it to the other one. Now we're going to put back the new one. And all we have to do is exactly what we did to take it off, but just oppositely and put it back on. And then, yeah, hopefully this truck runs fine. I'm really hoping it does.